All right, so I'm uh, trying something. When I dug out this pond, I found a bunch of red clay, which I soaked and I broke down into clay particles. And what I'm doing now is basically I re-added it to here and um, I'm moving it around. And the idea is this, is that the clay is gonna be, was gonna seep the particles, right, in, in the water, gonna seep through where the holes are and start, you know, uh, blocking it up. So we'll see how this goes. I'm repeating what nature would do normally to create a pond um, in creating, recreating clay deposits. And I'm sitting, see, I've got like three, three feet here in the, in the ground here. And I'm just stirring up the mud and the clay, just keep moving it around. Right here, just keep moving it around. And I'm gonna see how this does. I'm gonna do this uh, for a while. And I'm gonna keep timing how quickly it takes to, uh, to go down and see if I see a noticeable change. What is that there? I don't know. I'd like to seal this pond in a natural way versus using a sealant, but I may have to. I already put uh, cement down, as you can see here, there's cement that I use to seal around the sides and some of the floor. This here is uh, violets. These are beautiful, large violets. Hopefully they're gonna come up and um, they'll survive in water. Denying the filtration system that comes off, which I need to switch around and come to the, here and feed in here. Got another one on that side there that I'm going to basically have it come down and then have it go along the base here, maybe to the back here, and feed into it to the pond. Um, that's going to help let the rainwater come in here, capture, you know, this whole idea is to capture rainwater. It's my big reservoir here and grow fish in here. I should be able to grow trout if the water doesn't get too hot. If not, I can do catfish in here. Big old catfish. That's the pump right there. And I had it sitting on this box, this here. I'm probably gonna need to get some a brick or something and um, that it can sit on.